If you spend too much time in base searching for your programs, one solution is to combine your programs into one loop organized by a color sensor. How this works is that the program will run a certain run depending on what colored attachment it senses. So if it senses red, it will run the program corresponding to red. And if it senses blue, it will run the program corresponding to blue. If you are able to dedicate a color sensor to this program, then this is a great way to minimize time in base as well as eliminating the possibility of running the wrong program. Before you program this, you need to place your color sensor so that when your attachment is connected, a replaceable plate is directly on top of your sensor. My sensor did not work well if the plate lied right in front of it, so the distance between the sensor and the colored plate will vary from sensor to sensor. So the first thing you want to drag out is a loop block, and you want to keep it as unlimited because you want the program to continuously check what colored attachment is connected to the robot. Next, you're going to need a switch block, and set it to color sensor, measure color. Over here, you can select whatever color you want your color sensor to search for, and you're going to set the no color case as default. Uh, this is so that the program won't do anything if it doesn't sense its color. Next, you're going to need another switch block, and then set it to brick buttons, compare brick buttons. You can then choose your preferred button, and then set the button state as pressed and released. So with this second switch block, the program won't do anything until it senses this color and after your selected button is pressed. This program still works without the second switch block, but what's going to happen is that the robot's going to drive as soon as the color sensor senses this color and it's not going to give you time to react or position the robot after you've connected your attachment. Now you need to put whatever run corresponds with this color into the true case. I would highly recommend you making your run into a my block so you only have to place one block here. But for tutorial purposes, I'm just going to select a sound block um, that says red. So in order to add more colors and more runs, you just need to add um, another switch block and set it to color sensor measure color. Select your second color and then again um, put the default case as no color. Then you're going to need to select another switch block set it to uh, brick buttons compare brick buttons so just like what you did for the color red you're going to make a my block of the run that corresponds with this color and you're going to put in the true case and for me i'm just going to use a sum now you can add however many more runs you want you simply have to keep adding a switch block into the no color case change to color measure color and then remember to set the default as no color. For this tutorial, I'm just going to have three colors. Of course, you can add however many runs you need. So to go over what the entire program is doing, as soon as the robot senses a color, it's going to wait until the brick button is pressed, and once it is pressed, it will run the run. And if it doesn't sense any color, then it's not going to do anything. 